You guys, check this out. Dano here, back again. I'm with my man. What's up, guys? Lucas Bogosian, AKA Bogo. Professional bass fisherman up here, upstate New York. Yeah. Where are we? We're at the Great Sagandaga Lake in upstate New York. And what are those mountains? Those are the Adirondack Mountains. And what's this area called? This area right here is called Rodal Bin. This is Rodal Bin boat launch right here in the Great Adirondacks. And we got, Great beautiful, Adirondacks, we got beautiful, beautiful mountains. And we're gonna get them. We're gonna get them. <laughs> so I didn't know this. I just drove 13 hours up here and I did not know that we were going smallmouth fishing. Ooh. I thought we were going largemouth bass fishing. He's like, yeah, he's been fishing this lake his whole life. He said he's caught like two largemouth bass. It's all smallmouth. So we're going to go out here. We're going to grip and rip, setting hooks and pulling lips. Let's go. Check out that Dano's logo right there. The league I fish, I fish the Bassmaster Opens and Toyota Series um, full time across everywhere in the country. Um, here with Dano, we're doing some fishing and I'm blessed to be sponsored by Danos and I'm super excited to get after here in the great Adirondack Mountains. That's right. He's gonna show me how to catch smallmouth. What kind of motor are we running there? 250 Mark. It says four stroke? Yes, sir. Four nice. stroke only, guys. The new four stroke is about two years old, just came out in the market. Nice and smooth. Electronic shit. I want y'all to check something out. He literally hopped off the boat, ran up and parked his truck, and the boat didn't move. These things right here are like spikes that go down on the ground that holds the boat, so if he comes out here by himself, his boat don't float away. Pretty cool. Now we're getting ready to go catch him. So when I'm out here fishing on these smallmouth fisheries, I'm looking for steep pumps or, or drop-offs out here on my map. Um, there's a lot of them out here on the Great Sag and Dagger. There's a lot of uh, reefs that we like to fish. So that's what I'm looking for and that map is really gonna tell me. So I'm gonna start here at the console and I'm gonna start idling looking for fish until I actually find the fish I will not cast. I can see them on my graph. And that's just a, a, a tip for you guys if you're out here trying to break down the lake. Trivia time with a professional bass fisherman. Trivia time, guys. Got Let's a go. question for you. Go ahead. Do you know what the difference between <laughs> a creek and a river? A creek and a river? Huh. No, I don't. You ready for the answer? Yeah, go. Once a creek becomes 100 miles long, 100 miles long, comes a river. What? The reason I know that is Kentucky has Floyd's Fort Creek and it's like 99 miles and it's the longest creek in the world. Wow. That's trivia with a professional bass fisherman. That's great. So we just got to our first spot. We're getting ready to cast in. He gave me the Cinco. Old trusty reliable. Wacky style. That's what they call that when you just hook it through the middle. It's wacky style. So we got this shoal right here. We're going to fish right off of it. We were pulling up and I saw a fish jump. I said, let's hit it. What are you throwing? I'm throwing a top order spook. Actually one I uh, uh, designed called a BOGO spook. A lot of times when the water's in the 60s, they like to just smoke this thing. So we're going to see what happens. No luck. Stop one. We're heading to location two. Check it out. That sun's coming out, baby. Look at that. <laughs> let's go. Check it out. We got a boat trailing us. BOGO's camera crew is trailing us but they're in a pontoon boat they can't go 70 miles an hour so they are gonna let them catch up and we stopped to take a minute to let y'all know what's going on Dude, look at this beautiful <laughs> we did not expect the sun to come out today and a minute ago bogo said he said if the sun comes out it's over and i was like what do you mean it's over he's like we're gonna be on the fish yeah definitely these smallmouth love sun they love to get up shallow but me and Dano had a rain gear on the boat. We weren't expecting this. So that <laughs> right. right there is like a sign, you know? So The sun is out, my friends. That's official. 
Yes, sir. My hands <laughs> are super clammy. They're just moist as can be from all the humidity out here. But moments away from catching my first smolly. Check this out, y'all. Spent every summer here, guys. Every summer right from this stretch to the dam down my home lake. Nice. Look at that. Water's just glass. Beautiful. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. Let's get on some fish. Dano's first smallie. How do you feel, Dano? It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a pretty fish. First smallmouth. You guys, you know what I did? <laughs> he hit it with the drop rig. We actually put a minnow on this hook here, and you got the uh, weight on the bottom. And you know what I did? I hit it with a pop pop. <laughs> I'll show you in a second how you fish with it. <laughs> All right, Bogo, so I gotta ask you. <laughs> since I'm fishing this this drop rig, what is it called, drop rig? Drop shot rig. Yeah. Drop shot rig. If I am if I got it behind the boat, I don't have to reel. I can kind of just like <laughs> let it slack out and pop. Is there anything against that technique? Your, your, your uh, weight will get stuck in the rocks. Don't tungsten do it. Tungsten weight sometimes can get pricey. You use tungsten for sensitivity. Okay. Cause I'm kind of, I'm kind of dragging, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So don't do that. Yeah, yeah, especially if you're using tungsten. <laughs> gotcha. All right, so I gotta turn this off so I can reel this in. There you go. I don't know, I lost a couple of these, but we need two pounders. It's a small one, but stay after it. Do a photo of my dink. That's three in the boat now. That's three. That's three. Wow. <laughs> but just for the record, I am at the moment beating a professional bass fisherman two to one. Are you? Yeah. Two to one. Two to one. For at the moment. But it's only because he's taking me to the spot. So, you know. All right, you guys. So we got four in the boat. And we found out that the fish are around what? 20 to 25 feet? Yeah, about deep here. So, yeah, we're hitting them with the, what'd you call that again? Drop shot rig. The drop shot rig. I just figured I'd take me a little break. You know, Gatorade's just not for football. Gatorade's for fishing too. Let's go. Check it out, y'all. Keep talking about the drop shot rig. Here it is. You got a tungsten weight. Then you got a little worm tied on. So basically the weight, you jig it off the bottom. Jig it a few times. Reel the slack in. Keep jigging it. And yeah, that's what we've caught four on so far. We haven't had any luck on anything else. So we're hitting the drop shot rig at about 20, 25 feet. Check this out, y'all. We've caught five fish. It's three to two. We got about another hour. And Bogo's gonna show you what we're fishing with. So we're fishing with a drop shot rig here. We got the weight on the bottom and it's important to just keep that weight just bouncing off the bottom. And that worm suspends up tops and that's a floating worm. So the action is crazy on it. When it hits the water, it actually comes straight up like that underneath the water. Um, and that fish just comes up and grabs it. But it's important just to keep banging that weight off the bottom. You see how chipped that weight is and keep that lure coming to you. And that's how you fish a drop shot rig. So can't stop my drop shot rig. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling it towards me, okay? So you're gonna go, just like Dano says, pop, pop. Pop, pop. Then it's gonna go on the bottom, okay? Then you reel in again, you're gonna go pop, pop. Then you're gonna slack line again. And what's that doing is that's keeping that bait on the bottom. And that small mouth is just sitting right on the bottom and they're watching this bait go right by their face. But I'm keeping it coming towards me. That way I cover more water instead of just tossing it right under the boat. And we've caught all five so far doing exactly that. We're coming up to spot number four. Is this four or five? Spot number five, we've been all over. Yeah, this is spot number five. Let's catch a big one. The biggest fish is coming right out of here, right by these docks. Who's gonna catch it is the question. Got him one on the old crankbait. Got him one on my old crankbait. <laughs> is that a BOGO bait? No, I wish. BOGO baits does not make crankbaits yet. But what does BOGO baits make? Spooks, top waters, and soft plastics. Where do they find it? Lucas Bogosian fishing.com. B O G O S I A N. My last name is spelled. And get you some small drum. What about your, uh, tell them about your uh, Instagram, YouTube channel. So, Instagram, we could be found at uh, Bogo Baits, simple as that B O G O Baits. 
uh, B-A-I-T-S, Bogo Baits, just how you spell a fishing bait. Um, and YouTube, we could be found at lucasbogosianfishing.com, L-U-C-A-S space B-O-G-O-S-I-A-N space fishing. You can find me on YouTube. Awesome. And if you go check out his YouTube, you will see another Dano's video with me in it of us out here today just from a different camera guy, a different perspective. Check it out. Make sure you give him a follow, a subscribe, all that good stuff. Get you some BOGO baits. Destination number six is three. Do you have three? Is it three to three? I just caught another one, right? It might be tied. I think it's three to three. Yeah, I think it's three. Yeah. He caught quite a few of them, huh? He actually caught the last one on a crankbait. I got a spinnerbait. So we're going to see if the movement of the fish has changed. Are they in shallower water now because the sun's out? That's what we're thinking. So let's see. We're getting ready to get educated. So Bogo's getting ready to learn y'all how you tie a real fish. All right, so this is a Palmar knot. This is a 1-0 EWG hook. We like to throw these on Sankos. So you're gonna take your line like that in your hand. You're gonna twist around 10 times here. Um, eight to nine times, people say, but I do 10 for good luck. <laughs> so a couple of extra don't hurt. You're gonna, what you're gonna do is put that tag in through the loop, and then you're gonna pull, and you got your Palmar knot. 10 wraps around. You're ready to catch fish. Get it. Guess what? We survived and it's like nothing even happened. It's like, you can't even tell, but you can see it's coming. Go back out there. Yeah, that's no fun. We're alive. Thank you, Bogo. You're welcome. <laughs> You're alive, Brandon. We're lucky we had a Yankee with us. <laughs> the rain's coming down in the nick of time. Check it out, they got lucky too. I wonder what their ride on the way in was. Well, we survived, y'all. The rain's coming down. We caught six fish, we tied. It was awesome. Yeah. Lucas, thank you. You're welcome. It was awesome. We made it. Like, We're live. subscribe, 
Make sure you go check out Bogo Baits. Check out his YouTube channel. Tell him again, the YouTube channel. Instagram, Bogo Baits, YouTube, Lucas Bogosian Fishing. My last name is spelled B-O-G-O-S-I-A-N. Thank you for watching. Let's go. Everything will be down in the description of the video. You guys, I love you. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Hope you had fun. See you next time.